Pandas sort values. This is used whenever you want to sort your data frame or sort your series. And the interesting part is that you can sort your data frame on a single column or on multiple columns. Same thing applies for rows. And the more advanced functionality is you can actually use your own sorting key, meaning you have a, uh, a function that derives a certain value and that's what will be sorted on. Let's get into the examples first and see what we have here. So first thing that I'll do is I'll import pandas as PD. And then I'm going to create a data frame. And I'm going to create a data frame from a dictionary. And it's actually going to be a list of cities with their corresponding, with their corresponding uh, temperatures for different days here. Now, the first thing that I want to do is I want to sort by a single column. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort by the Miami column. And as you can see here, I've sorted it and it goes from lowest to highest. Now, this is because pandas sort values is default ascending equals true. And ascending means you start low and you go high. The flip side of this is descending, meaning you go from highest to lowest. So let's take a look at what it would look like is if I sorted the Miami column ascending equals false, meaning we're going descending. So whereas beforehand 67 was up on the top, now 90 is up at the top and 67 is down at the bottom. Okay. So now let's say I want to sort by multiple columns. In order to do this, I'm first going to create another data frame that's a bit more suitable for this exercise. And as you can see here, I have a list of San Francisco restaurants in the index. I have their type and I have their average bill. So what I want to do is I want to have all the bars, I want to have the type column uh, sorted alphabetically so that the bars are up at the top, meaning that this is going to be ascending. Yeah, ascending. And then I'm going to have average bill. I want this to be descending so that the largest ones are on the top. So in order to do this, I'm going to call sort values again. And this time what I'm going to do is in my by parameter, I'm actually going to pass a list. And this is telling pandas, hey, I want you to sort by type. And then I want you to sort by average bill. And then what's cool is you can pass another list to ascending that says for this first column, ascending equals true. So we're going to type ascending. I mean, we're going to sort ascending equals true for type. But then for the second column, ascending is going to equal false. So this means we're actually going to sort in descending order and we're going to sort average bill by descending. So let's go ahead and see what this one looks like. And here we go. So as you can see, type is sorted alphabetical order because ascending equals true. But then average bill is actually sorted in descending order, meaning the largest ones are on top. So 45 appears on top and then 200 appears on top right here. Okay. Um, the next exercise that we, we will do is we will sort by a single row. So this is when you actually want to rearrange your columns. And in order to do this, I'm going to return to our original data frame. And then I'm going to sort by rows and the row that I want to sort on is going to be this index label equals three. And so I want to put these columns in um, sort order based off of that row. And in order to do that, I will call the index label three. But the very important part is you actually need to specify your axis equals one. And this means that you're sorting by rows. I'll go ahead and sort this. And as you can see, whereas before it went San Francisco, Chicago, Fairbanks, Miami. Now it's going to go Chicago first because it is the lowest, San Francisco next lowest, Miami next lowest, Fairbanks on top. And so that's rearranging the columns, sorting by rows. The final thing that I do is I'm going to sort by a special key. Now what this means is that it, you'll, you're going to apply a function to each one of your values inside of your column. And then the result of that function is going to be what is going to be sorted on. So let me go ahead and let me put this in here. And so what I'm going to do is I want to sort by Fairbanks, the column, and I'm going to have the key be the absolute value of it. Now you'll notice here, let's scroll back up to the top. If we sorted, let's say we want to sort right here. We want to sort by Fairbanks. What we have is we have negative 10 is up on top because this is the lowest value. But when, once I take the absolute value, five is actually going to be up on the top because this is the key that we're sorting on. So let's go back down here and let's sort with key equals PD series absolute, which is just the absolute function. 
And as you can see here, I'm sorting by Fairbanks and then I'm taking the absolute. So now five is up on top and then negative 10 and then 45 and then 80. So this is super useful when you wanna sort by a derived value within your columns. That's pandas sort values.